welcome back everybody welcome back to homestead heart and today is a different video that i was planning to release actually i was supposed to release that video on yesterday but i did not because it's just been one disaster after another just one after the other let me show you what i'm talking about this is my old washing machine these are buckets on the floor with a towel <laughs> reason being it's because the hose snapped on this machine right here. And y'all, I wasn't in here when it happened. So water was all over the floor. Hence the reason why I couldn't finish the tomato powder. Now look at this. Now this is perfectly fine, but the hose is old. And inside of my washing machine, Y'all, water. We turned the water off, but it's still dripping. And that is how much water has dripped into the machine. Now, I don't know if y'all can see that because it's so dark in there, but still, I had to throw stuff everywhere. Out of this room, I have some um, little uh, workbench tables over here that I use to start seedlings on, and I had them all set up, and I literally just had to start grabbing stuff and throwing it up there on the table. See, I just had to start throwing stuff up there and it's just a mess over there. It's just a mess over there, just stuff everywhere. Paper towels, bed, everything is a mess in this room now because water went, y'all, I can't even describe it, but that's just number one. Let me show you number two. All right, y'all. Okay, so now in this room here, well, before I get to that, let me show you this right here. I got two of these, two of these lights right here. See them? Both of them went out for no reason at all. We don't know why. We thought it was the bulbs. Okay, we went about brand new bulbs. Put the brand new bulbs up. Nothing, nothing. I'm, I'm just showing y'all the disasters, <laughs> the issues here. However, that's not it. That's not it. Let me show y'all this right here. This is our concrete floor. We've been sealing this in here because we're getting ready to just put some tile down on the floor just to make it look a little better because it just looks ugly. <laughs> so just to make it look a little better. All right. Now let me show y'all this right here. All up this wall. Nothing but concrete on this side, right? And we started painting this, okay? We started painting this concrete and we're probably going to put a nice shiny coat uh, on this concrete wall as well. We got a lamp right there. I'm sorry it's so bright, but that's all the light I could put in here to show you this. So now y'all, now this concrete here, we've sprayed it down with water. We've scrubbed it the same that we did with these floors, sprayed it down with water, scrubbed it, everything, right? And so we had to come and move my deep freezer out of the way so we can get behind here and seal the floor. So we moved the deep freezer. That black cord right there has been here since we moved here. Y'all can't see it, but I'm gonna take you to the other side and show you. It's been here since we moved here. So in the midst of moving, there it is. In the midst of moving, this deep freezer and the cord, we've moved it a million times, a million times. But when we move this deep freezer and this cord right here, put that light over there. You see the ends of that right there? That thing touched the bottom of this deep freezer. Okay. And my daughter-in-law was in here. And this thing sparked so loudly, the electricity went through the deep freezer and reached and got her foot, even though her foot was not touching the deep freezer. Now, mind you, we've been here all this time, moving this wire, touching this cable, touching everything with it, and it has never done that. But this time when it touched the deep freezer, Oh my goodness. Now keep in mind, 
I had just picked this cord up with a metal pole. Let me calm down. With a metal pole and moved it out the way because it had a spider web on it and I didn't want to pick it up with my hands. You know how I am about spiders. So I didn't want to pick it up with my hands. So I picked it up with a pole just to slide it over. And I didn't touch that end right there. Thank God. God, I didn't touch that end because you see how thick this cable is here. It's some serious power going through there. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Y'all, this could have been major. So now, water all over my floor in my laundry room. Oh, I didn't tell. Wait a minute. Water is all over the floor in my laundry room because the holes went out. But the day before that, it could have been the hose. I don't know. But the day before that, when I was trying to do laundry, instead of the water just flowing out like it should normally does, it just was trickling out like it didn't even want to fill up the machine. The pipe that goes down in the drainage wouldn't drain. The water would back right up out of it. Then the line breaks. Whole plastic cap thingy breaks. Water all over the floor. Stuff soaked. Yeah. Then flip the lights on in here. No lights. But we still have power. As you can see, I got a lamp plugged in. But these nothing then this extra large cable here that we thought thought was dead turns out to be a live very dangerous live wire that could have seriously injured me had that metal pole touched the end and it was close and when my daughter-in-law moved it, she just picked it up and moved it in the bottom, hit that deep freezer. That could have been bad for her, which in turn would have been bad for me because I don't think I ever could have forgiven myself if something were to happen to her because we didn't know that it was a live wire. Like I said, we have been moving it, y'all. We have had water on this floor, scrubbing it with the scrub brush, trying to clean. Hold up. Okay, y'all was crooked. I was trying to clean these floors because y'all remember how pitiful this place was, right? So we scrubbing, and this thing had been down on the floor with all the water on the floor with us standing in here in water, scrubbing with the wire down because we thought the wire was dead. So, y'all, hmm, y'all remember this room? This is where we once had our brooder set up for our baby chicks, and we have moved them out, and we're redoing this room, and we're turning this room into a living space so that when we have family to come visit, well, it's going to be partial living space, because as you can see, I have my freezer in here and my backup refrigerator is in here, but part of it is going to be a living space. So when we have family come visit, they could be nice and comfortable, you know, and we'll have more room because we have a lot of family. <laughs> so y'all, hmm, that could have ended very, very badly. So yeah, we have a, um, a plumber that has to come out to fix my piping he actually came out already and told us what has to happen we have to fix that enti that entire panel in the wall has to be fixed he couldn't snake the drain because whatever it is we don't know they have to snake it from above he said so the electrician is coming out tomorrow um to look at this wire here and to see what's going on here and then we even have a few plugs in here that don't work, but they never worked. So he's going to come and check those out 
as well so that all of our sockets will work. But the biggest thing for me is getting lights in here and getting that electrical wire, getting that thing. And I think it went to a dryer. But I wonder what in the world kind of dryer did they have that they needed a wire like that instead of a socket in the wall. What were they thinking? What were they thinking? And the owner even told us that that wire was just no good. The previous owner told us that the wire was just no good. You know, it was just old wire and she never used it, you know? So we were thinking that it was dead. So yeah, but maybe it went to a dryer because we don't have a dryer in there because there's not a plug in there for a dryer. We would have to have one put in because there's not a plug or a dryer. So maybe that's what they were using for the dryer. I don't know, but man, that thing is ancient because who does that? Or maybe people do, and I just I'm, I just don't know about that. You know, I don't know. But anyway, y'all, it's been so much going on. So that's why the video didn't release on yesterday because I had too many things going on around here to release a video, okay? And I'm telling you, <laughs> I didn't even think about, I didn't think about the fact that the plug for the dryer because I really don't care to have one per se, per se, because I love my clothes line outside, you know, in the summertime when I put clothes out, my clothes are dry in like 20 minutes, you know, and I take them, hold them, I put them away. In the wintertime, it's probably going to be a full day. <laughs> you probably got to get them out there early in the morning and hopefully by the next evening, they'll be completely dry because that's how long it could take in the winter, especially for towels, things that are real thick. But for little thin things, it'll probably be, be dry that evening. But this towels and things like that, y'all, it's going to be 24 hours. They got to be out there two days <laughs> before they dry. So I never really cared much to have the dryer because I was okay. You know, I've kind of gotten into a routine with that, you know, but I don't know. Mr. H wants me to have a, a dryer for the winter, but I've been okay without it. You know, I don't know. I've been okay without it, but he wants me to have one, especially going into the winter months, but I didn't even con consider it, you know, just because. And, um, I don't know, maybe this wire thing, I don't know, maybe, maybe now I might be forced to get one. But anyway, y'all, that is going to do it. No lights. Can't use my washing machine. Eventful <laughs> is what the last 24 hours have been. Eventful. So y'all, that is going to do it. I just had to share with y'all what was going on. I may still release that tomato powder video later on today, but I had to show you what was happening here in the laundry room and in our other room. <laughs> in our other room, I can't really call it a garage anymore. Well, actually, before they closed it in, when they closed it in, I called it the dungeon. <laughs> but now that it's been is being made to look a little better. I call it the garage. And maybe once they completely finish it, then I can call it whatever Mr. H was calling it. But right now it's still the garage. <laughs> All right, y'all, that's gonna do it. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to our channel. Um, give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos that we upload to our channel. All right, y'all, thank you so much for watching Homestead Heart. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you, and I'll see you in the upcoming video.